This is Trip on Two Wheels. Welcome back to the channel today, folks. Today, a very simple little video on how to tell whether a motorcycle you're looking at has ABS brakes or not. Let's say you're a brand new rider. Let's say you don't know much about ABS brakes. Let's say you're curious if a bike has ABS brakes on it or not. Unless you know how to tell, you don't know how to tell. Let's go inside and get educated, shall we? Determining whether a bike has ABS brakes or not is really extremely simple. Just about every manufacturer that puts ABS on motorcycles uses the same type of system. The only exception being Harley-Davidson, and we'll show you how to tell if a Harley has ABS brakes on it or not in a few minutes. But I want to start with what I'll call a conventional motorcycle brand. Here we are looking at two Kawasaki's. We're looking at a Kawasaki versus X300 with ABS and without. The key giveaway is an ABS sensor ring that's located on the wheel that has ABS brakes. Now you'll sometimes find bikes with ABS brakes on the front wheel, but not on the back wheel. I don't think I've ever heard of a case where it's been the other way around. On small bikes, it's not uncommon to find ABS just on the front, but on most bikes and bigger bikes that have ABS, it'll be both on the front wheel and the back wheel. Now there's several ways to tell whether the bike has ABS or not, but there is one very simple one, and that's the ABS sensor ring. So let's look down here at the Versus X 300 with ABS. You can see that slotted sensor ring, that ABS sensor ring. Some people call it an ABS tone wheel. But if the bike doesn't have this on the front wheel, it doesn't have ABS on the front brakes, period. And you'll notice the bike also has ABS brakes on the rear wheel. Now there's also a few more subtle ways to tell, but you really don't need to pay attention to those. And I'll tell you why. You notice the ABS label here on this bike. It does have ABS. But let's say that that fender might have been cracked or replaced or repainted, or someone just didn't like labels on their bike and took them all off. How would you tell then? There's also some differences in the brakes the brake system just slightly, but there's really no point in knowing all of that. All you really have to do is look for either the presence or absence of the ABS sensor wheel. So now a quick review for those of you who might have been sleeping during the early part of this video, which if you were, I completely understand. With ABS, without ABS, with ABS, and without ABS. Again, virtually every motorcycle manufacturer today uses the same sort of ABS system, with the one outlier being Harley-Davidson. Now let's head over to Harley-Davidson and check out their bikes. Harley-Davidson. Their ABS sensors are set up a little bit differently, and there's a different way to tell whether their bikes come equipped with ABS or not. Here we have a 2017 Street Glide, which is equipped with ABS brakes, and let me show you how to tell. Basically, there's two ways. The first way is to look at the cable that goes down to the brake. You see there's actually two cables. One cable is the brake line, and the other cable is the ABS line. The second way to tell is to look for a black disc next to the left fork, between the fork and the hub of the wheel. If it's black, the bike has ABS, and it's always gonna be found on the left-hand side. And if you take a look at the right-hand side, that same disc is not black. It's shiny metal. Left side black. Right side shiny. Again, the two cables going to the brake on the left-hand side. And the black disc next to the left fork. For comparison, here we have a Super Glide. And if you look down at the disc next to the left fork, you'll see it's not black, but it's shiny steel. And then we look up here and you'll see there's only one cable going to the brake. This bike, this Harley, does not have ABS. And now for a quick Harley review. ABS. ABS. No ABS. No ABS. ABS. 
ABS. I hope this little video on how to identify which bikes have ABS has been helpful for you today. Thanks for tuning in. This is Trip on Two Wheels, signing off. And please, ride safe and ride off.